What's up guys? So it's officially been four months now of coding. Four months of consistent, persistent effort. And it's been pretty good. A uh, lot's happened in the last month since our last update. I've made a few things and I broke a few things. <laughs> and as always, I'll show you guys the projects that I've worked on and what I've covered. And just to let you guys know, I haven't been uploading too much recently because I somehow managed to break my computer. I was dual booting Windows and Linux and um, I got a grub error. And that was the first time I ever had a grub error. So I tried all kinds of fixes and ended up making everything worse and had to do a full wipe of my computer. So I lost all my editing software. I had videos already recorded that I was trying to edit. Those are gone too. But uh, it's a new start. I hope the camera looks a little bit better. I'm using new video software and let's get into it. So here it is. We got the young stud up there looking roguishly handsome. All right, look at that guy. But uh, so for this project, I used I built this in React, so that was one of the things I learned this month. I finally started dabbling in React, which is really cool. I like React. Still uncomfortable with managing state. I don't have that down too well yet, but it's easy for the most part. It has really cool libraries and like this thing here. You guys ready for this? Watch this. When you click on learn more, boom, look at that. Look at that, that's called React Scroll, I believe. It scrolls down by itself there. And as soon as we get down there, the animations kick in. I believe those animations are from a library called Animate on Scroll, AOS. So I've started implementing a lot of uh, tools into my code now. I thought that was really cool. And if you go down a little bit further, boom, everything else slides in. Look at that nav bar. Look at the project slide in. One more time for you guys, you can click on home up here. Go back up to the top. Back to the about me section, it's kind of empty, I know. I need to add some text there. I just wanted to get it built so I could add to it. And then finally, if you go down a little bit more into the projects, boom, the nav bar comes in and the projects slide in with the info. And from there, we're gonna start looking at the projects that I worked on. The first one we're gonna look at is my weather checker. It's the first API-based project I've worked on. Uh, APIs are super cool. There's a lot of things you can do with an API. An API is pretty much like a library of information in simple terms. It's like a library of information that you can access and pull things out of. They can be images, dates, times, weathers, locations, whatever the API specializes in, you can pull that information out and display it however you want. So this is a really cool project. Like I said, first time working with an API, a lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. So here we are, simple. H-Town, H-Town, let's see, let's try uh, Atlanta. Boom, we get the weather there. All this information, once you uh, do a fetch request to the actual API, you get all this information back. And from that information, you can pull, pick and pull what you want and then display it however you want. Weather app, super simple, highly recommend it. It's part of the Odin Project um, curriculum. So if you're working on that, you'll eventually come across this. Uh, it's really cool. I like to show this one off to my friends. I mean, it's something you can actually use. Would I actually use it over a real weather app? No, but it was good practice. All right, next up, we have the to-do list. Now, I was wrapping this project up at the end of my last uh, video, and I finished it like at the start of the month. So this is one of the first projects I finished for the month. And um, it's functional. It's built in vanilla JavaScript. I just don't like the color scheme, but let's look at it anyways. All right, so here's the to-do list. Get it done. Get the home button up here. And this is pretty cool. I like this project because it made you focus on a lot of different things, right? Like, uh, so I'll show you guys. So let's make a new task. Uh, let's see, title. Uh, get it done. And we need to turn it in by February 28th. So now if I make it urgent, it's gonna be red. And if I make it normal, the color over here on the side panel is gonna be black. All right, so we're gonna make it normal so you guys can see. And we can add items to the checklist here, like beer. And we can add a little bit of keep going, be productive. And then the scroll bar comes up the more you add. I'll show you guys, oops. I'll show you guys. We can add some soda. Uh, we can take better notes. So it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter what you put in or how much you put in, the box is gonna scale accordingly. And once you have everything in, you go ahead, you hit create. Oops, I forgot a description. See, like you guys like that alert? Um, 
let's see something cool here all right we'll create it boom so now it's in date order from the one that's due most recently to the dates that's furthest away and it's sorted by urgency if you mark it as urgent it's going to be sorted to the top and have red text if it's um not important it's just going to be in black text here and then they append themselves here you can click on the actual to do that you wanted to do and you can see all the tasks that you put in that to do and then from here you can mark them off boom we have beer boom we kept going and if you want to remove one we don't need soda who needs soda boom you remove soda it's gone and this store is in local storage so if i hit refresh here go back to my to do soda is gone and we can also add something new here um let's add YouTube or let's go new video and we'll add that boom there it is we made our new video we can check that off easy peasy easy does it this was fun first real advanced to do app that I made I mean I don't even know if it you can consider it to do app advanced but it tracks a lot of stuff right you can remove stuff it uses local storage first time i ever used local storage so it was fun learned a lot from this one definitely learned a lot about structuring and setting up with just vanilla javascript which really helped translate over well to re using react so fun project if you guys want something simple to do highly recommend making a to-do list all right and lastly we have the first react project i made this was like a resume a cv and this was also part of the odin project curriculum and everything updates as you click on it, right? Like you have the resume here and now we use React to edit everything and change the state of what you see to something completely new, whatever you want to make it. So if I click on the edit here and type in my full name, you guys know me, Michael, current position, boss hog on deck, uh, address one, two, three, four, somewhere lane, uh, email, my email, at oops at email dollar sign that's our hashtag that's fine phone 281-330-8004 if you guys know that number <laughs> you're cool dude. you're cool <laughs> uh, and github will go there I'll actually put it in mike white 628 that's my github and then we close that everything's updated and it works the same in the work experience. Now the work experience allows for multiple inputs or multiple like um, submissions. So the first one will go USMC, hoorah. I was in the Marine Corps if you guys don't know. Uh, roll, warrior. Year started, we'll go with 2008. Year ended, 2012. And the ads like this looks pretty basic, nothing too complicated. And that goes there. And you can remove it or add another one. It'll just go right underneath. So I'll leave that one there for now. And then once we're done, we can toggle out. And then education works the same way as experience. Where you can put in multiple education fields, fills in the same way. Um, not a bad first React project. It gets you used to using state right away, which is the biggest part about React. Like I've never used React going into this and state management was just it's still kind of hard for me to wrap my mind around and really figure out um i have started working on some new things they're not done yet so i'm not gonna put them in this video but they are a react based project my portfolio like i said earlier in the video is also a react based project i'm trying to become more familiar with it i see the opportunities and the possibilities with react so it's really something i want to work on and improve with yeah so that's it for the projects we did work on and start learning a couple other tools this month we worked on Webpack, which is pretty much a bundler for your code. It can do a lot of other awesome stuff, but I'm still kind of putting my toe in the water on that one, if you know what I mean. Um, it can be pretty overwhelming sometimes, but it has really good source documentation, so you can always go back and refer to that and kind of work your way through whatever you're trying to figure out when it comes to using Webpack. Um, obviously, we worked with APIs, like the weather app that you saw, and the JSON files that come along with that, how to pull information from a JSON, convert it to an object, and then use it as the API. We were firing off. We were firing off an MPM. We're using all kinds of libraries, installing all kinds of tools to make coding so much easier. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely start looking into MPM soon to ease your coding experiences. Highly recommend that. Uh, we learned about linting, how to format your code to standards, whether it be the Airbnb standard that everybody uses, the Google standard, or the like, uh, I think it's just like the, 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 
I think it's just the JavaScript standard. And there's different formatting principles for the code you use, like how to indent the spaces, the structure of your code. And if you install something like ESLint, which you can get from NPM, and implement it with your VS Code, it'll automatically set everything up for that or give you linting errors and make your code presentable and fit that professional box for your code. You'll have clean code. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you guys wanna see more code or see my actual code, let me know in the comments and I'll show the code that's going into my projects. And if not, hey, that's cool. I'll just stick to showing the finished product, all right? No harm there. And just so you guys know, I am not gonna be dual booting my computer for the next little bit. I'm running Linux out of a virtual machine right now and it's working on it there. The virtual machine is not as good. It lags, it's slow. I'm probably just being picky, <laughs> but it's way better just to dual boot, but I have to get some things in order. I did go out and buy some thumb drives, or I think they're right over here, actually. Look at this. Look at this preparedness. I did go buy some thumb drives. Look at that. I'm going to have a backup copy of Windows for a reinstall on one, uh, Linux and Ubuntu on another, and probably back up my personal files on the last one just so we don't lose anything. I did manage to save a lot of stuff, but some of my projects that I was working on in the Linux um, dual boot machine are like gone. I only have what I, what I uploaded to GitHub, like that's it. And one of the projects I didn't upload the completed version to GitHub, so it's like a wash. I'm gonna have to go back and finish it and get everything nice and ready. But um, thank goodness for GitHub, man. Use Git, guys. Use Git. You never know what's going to happen. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a fun four months. If you guys just started your journey, hey, man, feel free to subscribe. Follow along with me. I'm always going to let you guys know what's up, all right? Everything's back up and running. Look at that, Look at that camera quality. Same camera, different software. Uh, video should be coming out consistently on a regular basis again. And yeah, that's it for this one. Later, guys.